I am Anil Kumar and now we will discuss how to find the markup when the markup is based on selling price not the cost price. The question here is cost of an item to the retailer is $120. Find markup on the item if the markup rate based on selling price is 36%. So markup rate is based on selling price. That's the key to it, right? So you can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestion. So we'll begin with the relation between markup with cost and selling price, right? So let me make our standard table, right? So we'll make three rows and three columns. Okay. That is how it is. And we know that cost plus markup is equal to selling price s so these are our variables cost price markup and selling price we'll write down the amounts the numbers here and the percentages or rate in this row right so that is how we are using our three by three uh, table to solve such questions what are we given we are given that cost of an item to the retailer is 120 dollars so it is 120 all values are in dollars right so all values are in dollars Find mark markup, so we have to find this value on the item if markup rate is based on selling price is 36%. So we know markup rate is 36%. And another thing we know is it is based on selling price. It is based on selling price. Do you understand? Not the cost price. So for our question, the base is selling price. I hope now the question is very clear. Let us see how to solve such a question. Since the markup is based on selling price, we'll take 100% of the selling price. Is it okay? Now we know markup is 36%. What should be the cost price? You can think like this. Selling price includes two things, cost and markup. Out of these two things, markup is around 36 percent so kind of let us say this much okay so let me just draw like this so this is markup m okay and this is your cost price c so if markup is 36 percent what is the cost percent so we can say percentage cost is equals to percentage sales minus percentage markup right that makes sense. So from here we can say it is 100% minus 36%, right? And that gives you, let's calculate, 64%, right? So we'll do 100 minus 36 equals to 64. So we get this as 64%, right? So we get 64% and this 64% is of sales. So this is 64%. Do you get an idea? This is all sales, is it okay? Our base is sales now. Now I think it's easy for you to calculate. You can still pause the video, answer the question. At this stage, what are we saying? We are saying 64% of sales is 120, right? 64% of sales is 120. Let me write it down. 64% of sales is 120 right if I write it in the form of an equation 64 over 100 of means time sales s is equal to 120 correct now it's matter of rearranging and finding the sales so we'll find sales as equals to 120 times 100 over 64 correct let's calculate so we have 120 times 100 divided by 64 equals to let's write decimal value is equal to 187.50 you get an idea right so we get 187.50 as the sale price now what is the question it says find markup not the sales price. find markup on the item if markup rate is given so we have to find what markup is right so how do you find that? So markup is difference of sales and cost price, right? So markup is 
equals to sales minus cost price. So that is sales is 187.50, take away 120, correct? So that gives you the markup. So it is, um, when you take away, 8 take away 2 is 6. So we get 67.50, right? So in the answer, write dollar value, dollar sixty-seven point five zero. So that is what we get, 67.50 as the markup. Do you get the idea, right? Now you can actually check whether 36% of this is around that much or not, right? So you can do that part. But I hope with this example, you understand the very basic concept that markup could be based on cost price, it could be based on selling price. Most of the time when we are working in for retailer industry, since the selling prices are what we work with, markups are based on selling price. So take a note on that and I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and share my videos with your friends. Thank you and all the best.